Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing the Soviet Union on Elite Iron Man mode with historical AI, so let's get into it. The last video we crossed the Himalayas and we're now into India, uh, locking horns with the Allies on this front. Uh, the casualty count is in our favor. We've lost 3 million to, it looks like something like almost 7 or 8 million on the Allied side. And um, I'm restarting the video here. We're preparing for an Operation Sea Lion 3 uh, because I lost, in the last video, I lost all my paratroopers trying to cross and uh, didn't lose any of my amphibious forces, but we, do, we did upgrade our amphibious tech so that now I can cross with 50 divisions. And we're gonna try to dominate this side of um, England and hopefully we can get into those ports. And once we get into the ports, we can spread out from there. But I am waiting for uh, this amphibious assault um, to be completed. I am kind of putting all my eggs in one basket just going for these two ports here. Uh, but they should get supported through uh, paratroopers. And the paratroopers should slow down uh, the, the divisions coming over to try to reinforce these areas. So. Hopefully I can crack this nut, but I'm not sure if I can yet or not. We're waiting for these uh, paratroopers to finish their training. But the main thing here is that we're going to get this surround on all these divisions that are just going to get crushed. Uh, we should be getting this around on like 20 American divisions, something like that. I'm going to have to leave like a holding force here just to kind of, because there's going to be, okay, India capitulated, we get their equipment. Um, there's going to be, oh, we have free military factories. We're going to have resistance in the India area, so I'm going to have to leave troops there, unfortunately. I always hate to do that. Pretty far... Pretty behind in our aerial production here. I do not like that. We'll get some airplanes up here. Okay, got improved radar. We will continue to improve radar. Free France and UK divisions there, okay. So we should be better on our resources now that India just capitulated. And I don't know if there's a reason to be importing all this oil. As a matter of fact, there should not be. Keeping an eye on my manpower and we're no longer, we no longer have a national focus because I, we're probably gonna have to upgrade our manpower pretty soon. I wanna grab as much territory as possible though before that happens. 
before I have to upgrade. These guys kind of lost their battle plan here. Okay, so they're holding down there, so I have a free army to garrison India. Just checking out where the borders are. And I'll have them, I guess, they don't have enough to man the coastline, but they can man all the ports, and that'll help tremendously. Those guys are into there. I'm wondering if I can't divide up these two armies. God, this is weird. This kind of worries me. Dhaka. Like funneling these troops through this very narrow corridor doesn't seem like a good plan to me. What is this? Dominion of India. Okay, so they broke off into a new thing. Let's make sure that none of those amphibious attacks worked. How are we looking over here? Okay, so we got guys spread out defending different areas, different islands, etc. And then we're almost ready for this naval invasion here. I want to get these paratroopers out. Our fleets should be all repaired. Infantry l equipment is looking really good. 10 out of 10. September 1943. I think that they're, the Allies are starting to lose their manpower, to be honest with you. Look at these guys race over there. They're so quick. We're getting overruns. This really bugs me. We need to crack this open as fast as we possibly can. I need to supply through this area. Oh, there's actually not terrible supply through there, so... We are suffering some attrition, though. Overrun city. Yeah, yeah. Just blast through there. We get this port, and then these will all be pocketed off. It's going to be great. Okay, free dockyards. Ooh, iron. Hello. that situation under control um what else can we build i did upgrade some of my battleship stuff so let's look at the template here secondary batteries i think i am researching now but we could definitely do radar too on this new and improved battleship uh heavy battery too that'll be incredibly helpful And I think that's about it. So we'll build one of these big boys, which is going to take us forever. 1947, oh my goodness. 
December 1945. I'll take it. Okay, crashing down here in India. These two armies do not need to overlap. Some nope. I was hoping that I could get some airplanes over there, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's uh, get these air uh, paratroopers out. give them to a competent commander. There we are. Just try to dominate this area over here. Not able to get to this province right here. Jeez. There we go. Okay, so let's see how that goes. They'll line up over there. Let's set up this attack. The air looks fine. The subs are going to be on naval invasion support. Take that off. And I'm going to wait for my paratroopers to launch the parat attacks. This time, I didn't do that last time. Let's have these guys cross. I'm gonna wait till I actually see that the, the amphibious landings are attacking the individual areas. And these are really crack units, especially in Konevs. We have our marine templates. Let's show that to you real quick. Uh, and I've upgraded, so they're combat with 10 because of the special forces cap. Uh, but they have anti-air tank engineering and uh, recon companies. And I also want to show you guys my research. They are researched all the way, which basically improves. Marine 3 is improves the organization so that they can do their amphibious attack for longer. Okay, so it looks like they're in there. Wow, you got 24 divisions right there. Wow. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's have him go. There must be something messed up. Troopers should be able to attack now. We've got 49 air transports. 
Must have more than 70% air superiority. Okay. Let's give you cast air support. That didn't turn him on? Turned on for about two seconds there. This is looking promising. And we did get one para to attack there. Let's do some naval aviation. No. Convoy rating efficiency. Trade, deal, opinion factor. I want to see if this does anything. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments below what that really does. Maybe it allows me to trade for more resources? Actually, it appears to... It appears that I'm able to trade for more resources. I'm not sure if that's from the smooth, charming guy or whatever. Okay, so we have air superiority here. I can move these guys up. These guys could get closer. Okay, we lost air superiority. There. I mean, I guess we just have to micro this. So another paratrooper was able to get across. This looks like it's going to be our money area right here. Oh, we can get 2,000 airplanes over there in southern England. All right. Let's do that. This paratrooper just needs to hold that base. So they need to sit there. Fourteen days, this is getting worse and worse. And they're moving around to uh, support. Six days. We've got guys over here in southern England now. <coughs> Excuse me. Airplanes as we can over. <coughs> Gonna get these guys over there.
they must have microed over like their whole air force. Trooper attacks are now working. I'm gonna lose that base fairly quickly here. This is not looking promising <laughs> again. Oh my goodness, I keep getting shut out. Doesn't look like we've lost any divisions yet, and I don't think that we've lost any capital ships. No, we still have four. So they're hanging in there. <coughs> Anything else weird happening on the other side of the map? Not really. Okay, so we just need to improve our orders here. This is looking pretty cool. Pretty exciting. Pocket off more of those allied divisions. To make sure that this guy is spreading out his forces. have everything locked in here into southern England. This is crazy. He's looking good. Come on. Go across. Go across. Um, and I got the justification on Turkey, so let's have all these guys come out. And we'll form up some armies here. The first one was a task force in Brest, so that I don't lose Brest. That guy's fine. And then we can... Create a whole new army over here. From the ground up. Let's see if I can upgrade a commander. And someone who is pretty good. Let's go over here. That's where it moved to. I was like, where do I add this? Gorbatov. Sure. Okay, so we're going to make two hands clap here. Maybe I should have added some mountain divisions in there, not sure. So we'll get them all set up. Ten days. This is probably not going to happen. It seems very unlikely that any type of amphibious assault would take that long. Like, we've been out here for a month or two. 
So it looks like this is probably the area to focus on. Let's stop all the amphibious assaults here. Might as well just have them focus in right there. his men again. Oh wow, we can get 16 of them. I wonder if we lost any of the other divisions. It doesn't look like it. <coughs> okay, let's have these guys hold. We're going to have them move over to Schleswig-Holstein so that they can recoup. We still have those four capital ships, so we didn't lose anything. So my Air Force is doing a good job of just clearing out the area. distribute these aerial forces. Yeah, real we have a real problem here because we are not able to command the air for whatever reason. really bad. We need to either create fighter variants that are better, we need to research fighters, something. Pretty much have all the iron on the map. So we can definitely call Sea Lion 3 a failure. Let's get some boys over here. Trying to bomb our oil down here. Yeah, it's in that province. So let's get more radar towers up in key locations. God, that's hard. It's hard to see. stations going with priority. Oil's holding just fine and we've got plenty of oil production coming as you can tell. That is one of my priorities for sure. Let's start building a gun here. Make 
make sure that they can't bully me in this area. And then what happened to my army that I sent over here? Oh, okay, they're almost over there. Perfect. So we have our war goal until January 1944. So plenty of time there. Look like they're lined up against us. Let's get some fighters. So we can get some air superiority. They're just like bombing all of Europe here. It's crazy the amount of forces that the Allies have. In terms of air superiority, they can't really keep up with them. It's kind of how it went in World War II. All right. Looks like they're losing like eight divisions here. So we're going to have to line up in a couple places here. Uh, just getting ready for the inevitable attack with Japan. Let's have him come back here. And we're going to go for these two ports so that we can encircle the Japanese, if they ever happen to attack us. There's no port down there, perfect. And then Zhukov, you're gonna have to hang out in East Asia here. Okay. So if there is ever a war with Japan, we should be mildly ready for that. We'd have to rush some troops over here in front of Sikiang. And when we take out Turkey, we will be kind of butted up against France, who is the allies. So that'll be a problem. And it looks like we're ready to go. Almost ready to go. Is everyone in place? It says it would be risky. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully the allies can't shift their forces too fast. We have air superiority. We might come in contact with the enemy here in the Baltic, actually. Let's put them on a strike force type mission. Oh, wow. This is not working out well for, for us at all. Okay, national focus is open. We're going to need manpower here shortly. They're actually pushing in against us pretty well. There we go. Maybe I should take Zhukov over here, actually. They're already looking like they need a lot of help. We'll just have him crush in as soon as he gets over there. If we can get across the Dardanelles, the straight here, like that would be awesome. It looks like they're starting to make some progress. Oh, but England arrived. Uh, we could probably put that army XP to good use. This is so. This is something that I wanted to test out. So if we take the Great War Tank, I think we have some of these in our supply. We just tricked out a Great War Tank here. 
Am I able to convert from stockpile? No equipment. So I just lost all that for nothing. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Way down on steel. Probably because of all that battleship armor I'm producing. Okay, everything's holding here. No problems there. It's going to take so long for him to get over. They're strategically redeploying, which is awesome. And we're getting across here. It's just taking time and a lot of manpower. Let's protect our battleships here. Improved heavy battery? Sure. Best uh, offense. Best defense is a good offense. I would like more special forces. It's, but I really, so we're maxed out on mobile warfare doctrine. Uh, more soft attack would be really nice to have. We're stuck here. This is awesome. Looks like they're attempting to cut us in half. Let's make sure that these guys are aggressive in their battle plan. Istanbul is going to be a tough nut to crack, but again, we pocketed off all these divisions. Almost out of manpower. There's not going to be another sea lion. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to add these back to the manpower pool because I'm so worried. Uh, we should be upgrading our anti-air since we're having such problems in that area. These guys you should head over there. Okay, Zhukov's men just trickling over. Is this a naval invasion? going to make any headway over here. Oop, time for some air upgrades. Get a naval bomber out. Slightly improved. There's really not much else we can upgrade about any any of these other templates, so I really need to start researching more air stuff. That's pretty tough. Zhukov is arriving. Let's make sure that all these guys are on the battlefield. Oh yeah, 24 looks like they are. And Zhukov is here. We should be able to crush in very easily. Wow. 
really soft and squishy. Once you have like a level, let's see what this guy is. Level nine commander with every upgrade you could possibly want. Just crushes them. Let's get a light aircraft designer and then we can start upgrading our aircraft. Oh, I shouldn't have done that because I need more manpower. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right, we'll take some more manpower over here though, I guess. Oh, wow, that gave us a lot. kicking myself. I always do that, too. Let's... Actually, he has a green check mark, so all we need to do is get it crossed. Let's make these two fronts look a little better. Proof supply to these areas. And on this side. Perfect. Okay. So, can I take Turkey before I lose all my manpower? Political power is coming back, but not too fast. Southeast Asia looks okay. Nothing's happening on the east, eastern coast of the Soviet Union. I just want to see if I can get Turkey here. Okay, we got the radar upgrade, but what we really need is a better airplane. Better fighter. I'm not sure if this is useful. Like, Zhukov is going to be able to come across. Like, I think that that's just grinding um, manpower right there, and I don't think it's worth really it. But I do think that Zhukov will be able to come across no problem. States. Like, if this guy gives me a green check mark, I'm definitely going for it. But if not, we will not worry about it. Let's see if any of these guys can be upgraded. Galitsky. Okay, we got improved heavy battery. Let's go for better caps. Cast should carry us into late game. Wonder if there's any place where I can get more iron. resources without spending political power to get it because it looks like I could get I could expand the mills over there but I need to get more manpower and the manpower is dropping a little less quick they're, they're starting to really take off let's plan for another battleship And we are taking out their navy. Like, that's not a problem. Damn, they are, like, heavily invested in the, over here.
They're just owning me in these other parts of the country. Let's upgrade the amount of airplanes I have. These guys probably aren't doing as well because they're not actually in the province where they need to be. I need to get that air, air base that I saw right there. Okay, we can start making that upgraded artillery. Much needed. Start converting some of these other things. Slowly but surely, we're making it across here. It looks like this army right here probably can only just hold. Okay, upgrade to anti-air. out of manpower here. Just dawned on me I'm not upgrading my support equipment and I'm heavily invested in support equipment so I should be doing that. Oh man, this invasion in Turkey. I could try to go across here again. We've got six battleships now. Why don't we why don't we try to, to do another sea lion and um, we'll end the video there. Paratrooper attacks went off. Oh wow, in this, shoot, most of this army is not with marines. Dang. Let's see if I can't um, take this uh, air base here. Six days, jeez. Is there anyone in front of this guy? Oh yeah, there is. Okay, so now we can fly our planes over there. Start wrecking shop. So I think I'm gonna end the video here, but so we'll see what happens with the epic Sea Lion 4 and then Turkey. I might have opened up enough fronts to where they really don't, they can't do anything. Like they've depleted the armies in the homeland territory. So we'll have to see what happens. But everything's good in the eastern part of the country. It's really just trying to get over and capitulate uh, England because if we are able to do that, uh, we will easily win the game, and then it'll just be a matter of coming over here to the United States. So thanks for joining me, guys, and I will see you on the next one.